Hi! Hello! Welcome to GRTC Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new videos. In this video, I will discuss a recent board exam question, pero minodify ko na lang ito. Kasi this came out medyo matagal na using the 2001 code pa. Ginawa ko na lang siyang uh, 2015 na code. So this is about footing. Na? Footing uh, column on base plate and then uh, the analysis of footing. So similar to a body sum. A reinforced concrete footing supporting uh, a steel column on base plate is shown in the figure. So ito yung footing natin. W yung width niya, it, uh, it's a square footing. Alright, W yung width niya, so, uh, no, sorry, hindi pala square. Uh, rectangular, W by L. And then, the dead load is 1,050, the live load is 700. The load factor combination is uh, 1.2, 1.6. The column, the column is uh, a roll shape, white flanks. The overall depth is 320 mm. The flange width is 220, flange uh, thickness and the uh, web thickness. The base plate dimension is uh, B380 by N, 490. The footing is uh, 2.5 meters wide. Uh, oh, it's square. It's a square footing. W by L. L is also 2.5 meters. Effective depth of footing is 325 mm. FC prime and FY are given and we are also given the allowable stresses. Ito dinagdag ko na lang ito sa actual board exam. Itong design of base plate. Alright, the base plate FY of the uh, plate is uh, 248. Uh, concrete bearing stress allowable is 0.35 FC prime. And then the allowable bending stress of plate is 0.75 FY. Alright, the first three, two questions is regarding the base plate. Una, the minimum base plate area. B by N, a minimum area niya. Pangalawa, given, uh, using the given plate dimensions, these are 380 by 490, Ano da yung required plate thickness? Okay. It was not asked during that board exam. Uh, dinagdag ko na lang. Itong tatlong ito, ito yung lumabasa exam. Una, the punching shear stress doon sa footing. Next, the critical wide beam shear stress in the footing. And the number of 20 mm bars at the critical moment. Okay. So, the punching shear stress, the critical wide beam shear stress, and the number of bars at critical moment. Alright. Ito yung ating... Question. Binigay niyo yung figure na to. This is regarding the column uh, base plate. Alright? So, B by M, yung column daw is assumed to have this shape. Ito, ito. Ito yung equivalent column dimension. So, instead of using the rectangle or the white plan shape, we will convert it to a rectangular shape like this. So, this is B over 4. So, meaning this is B over 2. Kasi ang distance dito pag to the edge is uh, B over 4. Ito naman, if this is X, this will be X over 2. Actually, yung basis dito is nasa code. No? The critical section is to be computed halfway between the edge of the steel column and the edge of base plate. Halfway between the edge of column and the edge of base plate. Ito naman. So, kaya kung X ito, this is X over 2. Ang critical section niya. Ito naman, face of column is treated to be here. Ito yung pinaka approximately B over 2. Kaya this is B over 4. So, this is also B over 4. So, ito, binigay niya itong figure na ito. Binigay niya yan in the exam. Okay? So, we will be using that. Sige. So, ito yung ating uh, dimensions. Ha? So, part 1. Una, the minimum required plate area. The base plate area. So, to compute the plate area, we will be using, of course, allowable stress naman ang gagamitin natin dito. Kaya, we'll be using the service loads. Na? So, we have the total service loads is the dead load plus the live load only. So, you do not apply the load factors yet. Kasi gagamitin natin dito allowable stress. Na? 0.35 FC prime. So, that's 1,750 kilo newtons. And then, the allowable bearing pressure at the concrete, or in concrete, is 0.35 FC prime. So, that's equal to uh, 9.625 megapascal. Okay? Now, the bearing pressure between the plate and the concrete is equal to P divided by the plate area. And this must not exceed 9.625. Huh? 
So meaning the area the area of the plate or the minimum plate area is equal to uh, the force P divided by the allowable bearing pressure. So the plate must be greater than or equal to. So that's the area. Or shall we say the minimum plate area? Pwede rin. Sabihin mo dito, minimum plate area tapos equal sign na yung gamitin mo. Or pareho din naman yung meaning yan. Or the plate area must be greater than or equal. So the answer is 181,818. So it must be greater than 181. So what is that? Yun, pwede. Letter B yung sagot dito. Letter B. Alright, that's the first part. Now the second part is the plate thickness. The thickness of the base plate. Part 2. The thickness of the base plate. So, you see the dimensions above. 380 yung B and then 490 yung N. Okay. Now, in computing the plate thickness, we will assume that the column is a rectangular or is rectangular in shape with dimensions 0.95D. This is 0.95 of the, the depth of the column or that's 304 mm by 0.8 of BF. Ito, 0.8 of BF. Your BF is 220 so, that's 176. So, ito yung i-assume natin that this is rectangular in shape. Na? For the design of the base plate. For the design of the base plate. So, what we need to do here or to compute is the largest overhang length. Either itong overhang na ito, X1, or itong overhang na ito, X2. Gamitin natin yung X na malaki dyan sa dalawang yan. Kasi we will be using cantilever uh, part no? in designing the thickness. So, yung value ng x1 is equal to 380 minus 176 divided by 2. Ito yun. Ayan. And then, yung value naman ng x2 is equal to 490 minus 304 divided by 2. So, we will use the bigger value of the 2. So, malaki dito is the x1. Na? So, gagamitin natin is 102 mm. And then, yung plate, or we also need the bearing pressure, the actual bearing pressure between the plate and the concrete support. So, the actual bearing pressure is equal to the load P, the service loads, divided by the actual area. That's 380 by 490. It's the actual bearing pressure. Okay? Now, the minimum plate thickness is given by this formula. This, is, this can be derived using cantilever beam and then uniform load. 3 FP X squared divided by allowable bending stress of the plate. In this case, it's 0.75 F1. Your FP is this one, and your X is ito, yung malaki sa dalawa. 102 mm. Alright? So, ito yung minimum plate thickness. So, it must not be less than that. It has to be more than that. So, the correct answer here is the minimum in the choice is 40. Although, pwede yung 50, pwede yung 60, hindi pwede yung 30. Pero yung pinakamaliit na qualified doon sa choice is letter A. Okay? So, that answers part 1 and part 2. Okay? Sige. So, let's have the next part. The next part is for the footing. Compute the punching shear stress. Uh, the punching shear stress. Okay, balikan natin yung in-explain ko kanina. Ito yung binigay ng examiner. Iba yung kanina ha, when we design the plate, the plate area. Now, we will be designing the footing. So, we will assume or we will consider that this uh, column base plate or the column has this dimension. Rectangular in shape. Na? This is B over 4. So, this is B over 2. So, this is uh, 190 mm. And yung X naman natin is equal to 490 minus the depth of the section 320 divided by 2. Yun yung X. Alright? So... Then, this will now be N. My X over 2 naman ito. X over 2. So, this width here is N minus X. N minus X. So, the N minus X is equal to 405 millimeters. Alright? So, to cut the story short, ito na yung ating footing. It's a square footing with a column dimension 190 by 405. Okay? Now, the factor axial load ay 1.2 dead plus 1.6 line that gives us 2,380 kN. Okay, that's our PU. Alright? So, our factored reaction or that's actually the load of the footing is QU equals PU divided by the footing area. 2.5 by 2.5. So, 380.8 K. 
kilo pascals. So we can now answer part 1. Uh, part 3, sorry, part 3. Part 3 ito. So the punching shear stress. Now the critical section for punching is at a distance of D over 2 from the face of the column and it has four sides. D over 2, so meaning the dimension of this is equal to 405 plus dalawang D over 2. So that's 405 plus the effective depth. And by the way, the effective depth is 325. So that gives us 730. And this is 190 plus 325. That gives us 515 mm. That's our critical section. So we can now compute the perimeter of the critical section. Okay, that will be 730 plus uh, 5 on 5 times 2. Ayun, 2490 mm. And then the punching, the factor chair acting on that outside of that region is equal to QU divided by the area of this part outside of that critical section. So that will be VU is equal to QU times 2.5 by 2.5 minus 0 0.73 by 0 0.515. So that's 2,336.84 kilo or meg, uh, sorry, kilonewton. Kilonewton. So yung tanong is the punching shear stress. And that is VU divided by phi BOD. So meron na lahat. Yung D natin is 325. So ito yung sagot. 3.685 and that is 3.7. You can round that, round that up, no problem. Anyway, we are just investigating. Da? So that's 3.7 megapascals. Alright, part 4. The critical wide beam shear stress. Okay, look. Uh, hindi niya sinabing wide beam shear stress at critical section. Ang sinabi niya, critical wide beam shear stress. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng examiner ng ganong statement? Actually, dalawa yung wide beam shear stress na titinan natin. No? One is here, distance D from this critical section. And one is here. Ah, sorry, sorry. Distance D from here. Ito, ito. Uh, ito. And the other one is here. Distance D from this face. Ayan. So, yun yung ating... Ano. Now, ang, tano, ang ibig sabihin ng statement na to, meaning yung malaking stress sa dalawa. Well, obviously, this will give us the larger BU. Although your BW for both sections are the same, 2.5 meters. But obviously, klaro masyado na ito yung magbibigay ng malaking area. Thus, it will, be, it will give us the bigger VU. Kaya ito yung gagamitin natin. We will compute it here. So, tignan natin. Part, part 4. Ha? So, sinabi ko na nga, dalawa yan. No? Pero ito yung magbibigay ng malaking VU. Ha? We will consider this one. This is distance D, 0 0.325, 325 mm. Alright, so this is now, how much is this? So we can compute this. No? So that's 2.5 minus 0.19 divided by 2 minus 0 0.325. Na, tawagin natin X. Ah, ito na. 2.5 minus 0 0.19 and then divide natin ng 2 to get this distance here. And then minus natin ang effective depth. So, that gives us 0 0.83. So, with that, makukuha na natin yung VU. So, the VU is the total factor shear acting on one side of that critical section. So, that will be QU multiplied by that area. And that area is equal to 2.5 times X, which is 0 0.83. So, 790.16 kilo newtons. Alright, so the critical wide beam shear stress is now equal to VU divided by V BWD. Your BW is 2,500 mm. Effective depth is 3 to 5 and VU is this one. So the answer is 1.297, 1.3 megapascals. Letter C. Okay. And part 3. Compute the number of 20 mm bars required for critical moment. Okay, we have another statement here. Hindi niya sinabing at critical section. Kasi yung critical section ng moment is computed at the face of the column. That's the critical section. At the face of the column. Now, ito naman yung assume column, column dimension natin. At the face of that. Alright? Now, ang sinabing niya at critical moment. Kasi kung titinan nyo, dalawa yung possible dito. Ito dito at saka ito. 
Well, obviously, among the two, ito yung magbibigay ng malaki yung moment kasi malaki yung overhang niya. Ha? Malaki yung overhang niya. So, tingnan natin for part 5. So, again, dalawa yung titina natin. This one and the other one. Pero ito yung i-consider natin. So, compute natin yung moment at that section. Ha? So, yung x natin, uh, uh, iba yung x kanina. No? That x is equal to 2.5 minus 0.19 divided by 2. 1.155 meter. So, the moment at this is equal to the total load on this overhang part, total force times x over 2. So, the total force is QU times the area, 2.5 by 1.55. That's the total force. Ito yung moment R, no? from the middle of that, x over 2. So, the moment at that is 634.996. Okay? Then, we can now design the number of bars. Kumpitin natin yung RN. Asigurado naman to, no? Usually, footing, slabs, walls, no? Uh, ano yan? Tension control. And then, ano? Kaya, most likely, tension control. Kaya, it's very safe or it is very expected na this can be applied. So, Rn is equal to mu over V, B D squared. Your V is 2,500 and your depth is 325. So, this will give us 2.672. Then, compute natin yung rho using this formula. Na? Ayan, kayo na lang mag-check nung values. 0 0.013, uh, 103.46. That's very small. Very sure ako na less than row balance yan. No? So, and that is tension control. Sigurado yan. Ang Romy naman, maliit naman yung Romy. No? Romy dito is 1.4 over 275 yung gagamitin natin. Na? Because your FC prime is maliit naman. So, 0 0.00509. So, okay. So, we can use, we will use that row. Alright? So, we can now solve the uh, steel area Rho BD So the steel area is equal to this And Ang tanong naman dito For critical moment lang Hindi yung total number of bars Sa both bo, Total lang both Buong footing Only here Ilang bars ang ilalagay natin dito Ito yung malaking moment Okay So finally Your number of bars is AS divided by the area of one bar And this will give us 26.8 or 27 bars. Ayos. All right. Oh, by the way, additional uh, ano lang, additional input lang no regarding this row row natin. Kung pansin niyo, o oh, baka yung iba nakapansin, sir, sigurado na ba? Sigurado ka na ba dito na tension control diyan? Kasi uh, we are using 2015. So here we use point nine. So, dapat, it has to be consistent. It has to be tension control. Kasi kung transition zone ito, this is invalid. Na? So, to check that, meron tayong formula. This can be derived. May formula tayo sa rho T, yung limiting rho na tension control. Na? Okay, uh, palabas ka lang yung math card ko. Ito yon. Ito yung formula. 3.8. Maderive mo to. May derivation ako dito sa book or doon sa mga previous videos ko sa YouTube. 3.8 and then 0.85 FC prime beta 1 over FY. Ito yung row. This is not row max, row balance. No? Ito yung row, uh, shall I say, uh, maximum row na tension control siya. Maximum, not minimum. Maximum row na tension control. 3.8, 0.85 FC prime. If I substitute that, our FC prime is 27.5. Our beta 1 is 0.85. Our FY is 0.75. That will give us 0 0.027. So, our row is only 0 0.0103. So, sigurado this is tension control. So, valid yung ating RN. Did you get this? Na? Kasi itong RN naman, okay lang naman yan. No? Ang assumption kasi dito, steel yields. Pero kasi kung sinabi mong, pag sinabi mong steel yields, pwede kasi na transition. So, your, your fee is not 0.9. Na? It will be less than 0.9. Kaya to check on that, nag-assume tayo dito na uh, tension control. So, we have to verify that using a uh, prime here. Alright? So, yun yung ating uh, design or solution to this problem. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have learned uh, a lot from this video lecture. Thank you so much.